Well, clearly provides a second route to get from China producers to the European market. That's going to lower the cost of the transport, so opens new opportunities to use the route to get products to Western Europe. So that's one opportunity. Okay, so that's an interesting question. When I read it, I thought, okay, what, which surprises could come from the um, Arctic area? So one is, okay, so as temperature goes up, methane is going to be launched into the atmosphere, which will change uh, temperature again, so a cycle will start. Another possibility is there are wealth, there is wealth available in the Arctic area, which we don't know about until we discover it. And as it gets easier to get to the north area, it will be discovered. That could be, again, oil, could be natural gas, it could be uh, minerals in general. So that could be a surprise as well. That's a difficult one. Um, how do you combine um, grabbing the wealth that can come from the Nordic area and at the same time you keep the ecology working as it should? Difficult one. So probably, as usual, you have to negotiate, be practical, but at the same time, look at the long term, which is difficult. So letting everybody access their resources while doing this slowly and planning for the future is probably the only answer. So negotiating, doing it slowly and planning long term. That's a general one. I'm not sure whether you mean oil related or Arctic sea related or Technology in general, well, um, I mean, we all know the answer really. I mean, technology is the way to have the economy grow. The question is which technology, how to develop it, whether you want to focus on short term or long term. Um, my general answer would be, again, being very rational, very pragmatic. Try to look for some short term products, uh, low risk, but quick return and a small return. And at the same time, look for long term returns high risk in the longer term. So trying to combine both options is probably the best way. So investing in short-term technology and long-term ones.